on the couch with us right now. We have Adam, and he's here to talk to us a little bit about Spear Memorial. So thank you so much for being here Thanks with us Thanks for having today. me. Absolutely. So let's just kind of talk about what Spear Memorial is sure. and what you guys do. Uh, Spear Memorial is a memorial company started in 1946. Uh, we specialize in bronze, granite, markers, anything for the cemetery needs. Um, once a um, family loses the loss of a loved one, then they come and see us and uh, go through, see the girls, Cherie and Jerrica. We have a Newland location, a Spruce Pine location, and they decide they have a lot of different things. They can do a double face, a single face, bronze marker, different types of markers, and then the, of course the family normally already has a plot in the cemetery where they can come and um, lay their loved ones to rest, figure out what type of artwork they want, what color they want, um, um, when they want it placed, anything specialized, and then we do um, um, approve the proof of it, and then they'll turn around and um, approve that, and then we have a company down in Georgia that does that. The main the heavy carving is the shapes and the, the different things, and then we'll turn around and do the etching for the um, uh, the name on it, and then the death date, and, or born on a death date, and then we go out and specialize in setting them, and then we also do a lot of uh, cemetery repairs. Um, a lot of people will come in, fly-by-nights will come in, and the bases of the monuments and stuff will fall, much like that Townsend girl fell and lost her life, and unfortunately, and then we come back and set that, or go back and clean them, um, and do uh, anything involved around the anything cemetery needs. Wow! So there's yeah. a lot that goes into yeah, this. There it's is not just going and picking out something and then you're no, done. No, the girls work really hard in the office. Once the customer comes in, trying to figure out what the customer wants, you know, because obviously that's kind of the the closing part of of the of the uh, death of a, of a person there and figuring that out and then going and getting it cut and then setting it um, and there's a lot of work to it there's a lot of work to, to get in the cemetery and and this the whole the whole realm of it yeah and this is also too a very special thing sure that people yeah there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of monument mm -hmm. companies out there we serve anywhere from East Tennessee all the way down in towards Asheville over towards Hickory up into Ash County Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So what's kind of the history behind Spear Memorial? It How started in 1946 um, by Danny Buchanan and then he ran it, um, he and his brother ran it and then they uh, parted ways and then we, there was a guy, Jeff Reynolds, um, he ran it for uh, 15 years and grew it to where it was and then uh, I had been on him to see if he wanted to sell it and he's you know contemplated making sure that it was the right move and then he ended up uh, letting us have it in I guess August of this year or uh, excuse me August of 2013. Okay. So yeah we're looking to grow it and just continue it on and then when we're done somebody will pass it on to somebody else. Very sure. good. Now how um, well you said it has been in business for sure. several years yeah, since now. since 1946. So how did you kind of get involved in this? I always thing? wanted to get in the funeral home business but mm -hmm. I never went through the uh, schooling that kind of wasn't my career path and then I went into the construction management and we have another family company that's uh, involved in the in the area and then Jeff I saw all his kids moved away and we just had the opportunity to get in there and, and purchase it from him and, and continue it on. Very nice, yeah. very yeah. nice. Because you know you want that special kind of thing for that loved one and sure. it sounds like you guys yeah, it's got, you got to out. choose the right, right thing because it's going to be there for years and years to come. Absolutely. It's amazing when you go to cemeteries and see grave sites and stuff how long some of the how old some of them are. Mm -hmm. So it is. it's a lasting yeah. lasting yes. monument to the family member. Absolutely. Sure. Where are you guys located? We're at? in Spruce Pine mm -hmm. and then we're also located in Newland. Okay, so you yeah. have two locations. Yes, ma'am. And we're trying to open up one in Boone as well. Or okay. at least build a place where the display where the people can come and see so they don't have to drive as far. Right. And we're working on revamping our website as well. Very nice. Yeah. So now when someone comes in to start the process, sure. how long does it normally take to complete? Uh, we normally try to do it in uh, six to eight weeks unless okay. there's a delay um, in the weather or a delay with a certain type of granite um, or carving special needs that the family member might have. So you can use any kind of stone now? It's yeah, not... well granite's preferred because mm -hmm. of the fact the way it polishes out and, and the way in which it blasts in there. So they've come a long ways. From yeah, it's, it's, it's traditionally been granite. It's just been the different colors of granite. Some mm -hmm. people use marble um, uh, and things like that. But and the granite holds up the longest as far as the wear and tear of the, that the weather provides. I was going to say, with sure. the weather, is sure. that the one that yeah. people prefer? Yeah, that's it. 
So well, it's very, good. very cool. Yes. How many actual choices are there when someone comes in and? Numerous. And That's the hardest part. <laughs> the hardest part is the selection because there can be right. anything from a single face to a double face, round, square. I mean, custom. It's just. It's just. Because when you go to a cemetery, you'll see so many different ones, and everybody wants a personalized note or personalized shape, or it's just, it's thousands, I would say. Very nice. So it's hard to narrow it down, so the girls do a really good job with all that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there a most popular shape, or? Well, m most of the time it's square mm -hmm. or rectangular. A lot of times it's a single face uh, monument, and then they turn around and do... Uh, a lot of more roses, um, a lot of them like to put uh, Bible sc uh, scripture on there mm -hmm. and different things like that. So, yeah. Nice. And then gray is the predominant color. Right. Yeah, they make pink, and or they don't make it, but they you can get pink and black and everything else. And there's a new process coming out called like an etching where you don't actually carve it in there, a machine cuts it in there, mm -hmm. so you can put more uh, 3D dimensional type look in it. So, Very nice. Yeah. Yes, they've definitely come a long way. Yeah, so there's there's a, there's a lot there's a lot of choices. A yeah. lot of people don't visit the cemeteries until the, uh, their loved one passes away, so they don't really keep up on the on the modern um, things that are happening with it. Right. Yeah. Definitely. You have no idea how many options there are until sure. you actually are in the sure. position to have sure. to go. And, and like I said, there's not a whole lot of people in it, so you don't really you don't yeah. doesn't get aired to the public a whole lot. Right. Sure. Right. Definitely. You know, so. That's it. Now, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you guys? Should they stop by or visit the website, give you a call? Yeah, they can just call us and look us up online, uh, Google us or look us up on the Internet. We're trying to, like I said, relaunch the new website, but we have uh, the two locations, Spruce Pine and, and, and Newland. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. So how important is a business like this, particularly in, in, here in the high country? As far as to, I mean, most you don't have to have a monument, but most people want a monument or right. they, they have to lay their loved ones to rest somewhere. Right. So whether it be spreading your ashes in, in a cremation um, uh, option or whether it be a, a regular casket and vault burial, then they, right. then they do that. So it seems like, the, you know, I mean, it's been going on ever since probably the, I don't know, 1700s. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what the, the, when I went back and looked at when the uh, monuments really started. But right. cemeteries came in somewhere in the 1700s, I believe. Right. Right. So, yeah. So it sounds like you all are the place to go. Yeah. You've got, you have a way of doing all kinds of shapes. Designs. Designs. Whatever you need on color. there. Color. That's right. So, and the scripture, you know, the engraving. Yeah. So. Anything you need. That's wonderful. Sure. Sure. So fantastic. Well, thank thanks, you so much for coming for having me. with us. Yeah, thank Absolutely. You. Yeah. Thanks. And we'll be back in just a moment with more of the Mountain Television Network.